So, if you followed the previous video correctly, you should now have a chart that looks something like this. It's a good idea just to double check once you have actually made your chart to see that the information that you've got in your original table matches what you've got in your chart. So I can see here, just double check, strawberry is 7, I've got vanilla which is 11, that looks about right, and I can work through them just to make sure that they're accurate. So that now shows this information in this small spreadsheet table a lot more clearly. So what we need to do now, obviously, is label it, because if I was to hide the context there, just put the chart over there, you'd see that this actually doesn't really mean anything. We could hazard a guess, but at the moment it's just basic information. It doesn't tell us what the chart is about and what the data means. So if I click on the chart, up here I've got chart tools and I'm going to go to layout. Now what I need to do is I need to give it a chart title, I need to give axes titles for X and Y to show what the data represents and I'm also going to put data labels in there. So let's start with the chart title. I'm going to put it above my chart so that it appears there and I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to say um, most popular ice cream flavors and you can put whatever you want in there as long as it's clear what the data represents then I'm going to go to axis titles and the horizontal title which is the x-axis I'm going to title below so here again just highlight and I'm going to say ice cream flavor. And there we go. For the next axis title, I need the vertical one, which is the Y axis. And I'm going to do a vertical title that goes along there. And I'm going to say amount. And there we have it. It's clearly labelled. Somebody looking at this now can say, right, so it's for the most popular ice cream flavours. These are the amount, and this is the ice cream flavour. So it's very, very clear. It's much easier for somebody to look at this, just a printout of this, than having to put a computer in front of them or send them this data open in the spreadsheet. It's much, much better. And we can now give that to our investor. But one last thing we're going to do if I click on the design, oh actually, I almost forgot about that, we want to put some data labels on there. Now data labels, literally, if I can put them in the center, which will put them here, inside end, which will put them just inside the end of the bar there, or outside end, and I'm going to put center. And what that does is it just literally shows the number in there to make it a lot clearer. So finally, I'll go back to what I was going to do. Design, move chart, and I want this not to be in this part here with my original information. I want it to be on a new tab down the bottom. So I'm going to go to new sheet, and I'm going to go to change it to most popular ice cream flavor, and press OK. And there we are, it's put it in a nice separate sheet there, so I could just print that separately. And that's how you do a chart.